Hey Corona, I'm Keith Wagner. And I'm David Beaver. And this is CDSPN. In an emotional ceremony, number 12 was officially retired and shall never be worn again by any member of our production team. Kim was a vital member of Team CDSPN. Her contributions include directing a national award-winning broadcast and making sure CDSPN was broadcast over 25 times last year. Fall sports are now in full swing. All athletics have been shaken up a bit by our new region. Our new region consists of seven schools that include over 20,000 students, faculty, and staff. The most competitive schools in the all-around athletics are Basha, Highland, and Mesa Mountain View. After starting off 0-2, losing their games by an average margin of 18 points, varsity football narrowly defeated North Canyon 21-19, and things started looking up for the Aztecs. But last Friday night, all progress had been lost with a tough 19-14 loss against Mesquite on homecoming. Some of the impact players from the game is Mesquite's Stefan Hansen, who rushed 12 times for a total of 61 yards and one touchdown. In addition, Hansen went 7 for 12, passing for 55 yards. An impact player for Corona was Billy Johnson. Billy had three catches for a season-high 111 yards and one touchdown. More information on tonight's game will be featured later in the show. After winning a state title last year, Batman has gone off to a subpar start, going 3-4 and four and losing to tough matches against Chandler and Red Mountain. Tonight, the team will travel over to Carl Hayden High School, Good luck, girls. <clears throat> also making some large headlines is girls' volleyball. With roughly half their games played, they're posting up a 4-2 and two regular, in the regular season. Let's have a look at the remaining games. The toughest teams that stand in the Aztecs' way are Gilbert, who finished 4th in state last year, right behind Corona, and Mountain View, who finished 6th last year. Boys and girls cross-country will be running in tomorrow's night's Desert Twilight CC Festival. This meet offers runners a different venue at Toka Sticks Golf Course. The first races will be ran at night, which will be a nice change for the runners. There will be over 45 teams competing. This race will separate the state's top competitors from the rest of the pack, so it's time to sink or swim cross country. Now for the bulk of our show, we're going to break down tomorrow night's show under the lights. Kickoff is scheduled for 7 o'clock at Mountain View. This game will bring up some bad feelings from last year when the Toros picked apart Corona's defense that ended with a 29-8 loss in the playoffs, kicking us out. For Corona to maximize their chances of winning tonight, they can't be making the little mistakes that have plagued them in their past games. In previous outings, the defense have not been wrapping up on their tackles or plugging up holes on the offensive line, and especially we cannot be making mistakes like this against Mountain View. They have a great running back. It'll be interesting to see how we rebound from last week's loss. <clears throat> On the offensive front, the keys to victory include our linemen holding their blocks up front and creating the gaps that Michael Legg needs to run. And our last big point, our receivers dropped over five passes, some of them crucial, some of them not so much. But we need to catch all of our passes. That's all we have for you today. I'm David Beaver. And I'm Keith Wagner. And this is CDSPN.